Welcome back to the Winterbury Wildlife Tech Series. Today we'll be replacing the double EEPROM in a Browning trail camera. In a properly working trail camera, when we change the camera settings in the menu and then turn the camera off and on again, the camera remembers the new settings. If a camera doesn't remember the new settings after a power cycle and if it can't update the firmware, then it's very likely the double EEPROM has failed. The double EEPROM, or Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory, is a tiny device that stores the camera's firmware as well as the user settings. I have found that these devices can fail by not accepting any new data, especially in older cameras. That's what happened to this Browning Patriot FHD model sent to me by a friend. Replacing the double EEPROM goes in a series of five steps. Step one, get a new double EEPROM device. I use a readily available Micronix part listed in the description. Step two, get a valid firmware image. Camera manufacturers do not publish firmware images, but I do. Check out the link in the description for the double EEPROM images I have reverse engineered for several recent Browning models. Note that these images are camera and double EEPROM specific. Use the Micronix part, and if you don't find your camera in my current list, let me know in the comments. Step three, program the new double EEPROM with the valid data image. I use the Revelprog IS USB programmer for this. The double EEPROMs in these trail cameras are wider than the SOIC 8 ZIF socket on the Revelprog programming head, so I had to build a small daughter card which attaches to the programmer via a ribbon cable. Once the double EEPROM device is installed in the programmer, I just go to the app, open the appropriate binary file and press save file to device. After asking me if I'm really sure the programmer erases, then programs, then validates the double EEPROM. Step four, remove the broken double EEPROM. The table shows the PCB locator for the double EEPROM on Browning trail cameras. For this camera, a Patriot FHD, it's U9. You should find an eight pin wide SOIC chip about five millimeters square. Removing these parts is tricky. Ideally, one would have a full SMT rework station. I get by with a Weller soldering iron, a 10X binocular dissecting microscope, an anti-static silicone work mat, and a stand to hold the PCB still in the microscope field. I remove the solder from the device pins with some 0.05 inch wide solder braid. I press the braid down with a soldering iron tip onto the device lead and pad. When the solder on the pin and pad melt, the surface tension wicks the solder off the pins and into the braid. Wiping the braid with a no clean flux pen helps the process. Unfortunately, I can't show me doing this because I don't have a good setup for capturing videos from my dissecting microscope. See the link in the description for some other great videos showing this technique. Some things to note, pins four and eight for ground and plus three volts respectively go to big traces so they require more heat to melt the solder. Also, it's very easy to lift one of the small pads right off the circuit board. This happened to me on this repair, and you can see I had to fix the problem by bypassing the damaged PCB trace with a really small wire. Step five, solder down the new double EEPROM device. Note the location dots, which designate pin one on the device and the circuit board. Apply just enough heat to flow the solder into the pad and pin, and then move on. Too much heat can damage the device or cause it to lose data. Now the camera is ready to turn on. If it boots at all, it's almost certainly fixed. If it fails to boot, it's likely an incompletely soldered pin. My repair worked just fine. This fix is a little involved, requiring some specialized equipment and skills, but if you have a lot of otherwise good cameras failing in this way, it may be worth the investment in gear and training to fix them. Let me know in the comments below if you decide to give it a try. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more trail camera technology that will help you get more from your camera traps.